Hey there, everybody. How we doing? Okay, I think I can take this off. We're socially distanced, and I'm doing good. It's Tom from Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, 724 Cleveland Avenue Southwest, on the fringes of beautiful downtown Canton. I'm not sure if you remember me or not. We used to do these fairly often, and I confess it's been a while. Mea culpa. Okay. Um, I'm here for several reasons. One, to just let you know things are still going good. I hope they're going good with you. You're staying safe. You're staying healthy. You're obeying the protocols. And you're doing well. You're taking your vitamins. You're eating healthy-ish. And you're taking care of each other. That's the biggest thing is we need to take care of each other at this time. But along with that, as you can tell by the shirt I'm wearing, it's that time of year again. Yes, we are going to do Halloween Comic Fest this year. And the beauty of it is, it's actually on Halloween this year. It will be Saturday, October 31st, 2020. I knew that. Uh, 2020. So here we are. Along with that... Comics, Cards, and Collectibles will be celebrating their 40th anniversary of being in business that year. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Um, so, as a special extra celebration, uh, we're going to have the sale that we usually have with lots of stuff, mostly comics, 40,000 comics, but instead of selling them for a buck each, which is already a good price, we're going to be selling them for the unbelievably low price of 50 cents each, which is what a new comic book cost way back in 1980 when we began business. Which it doesn't seem that long ago, does it? Well, at least not for some of us. Along with that, we're going to extend the sale. Um, the actual Halloween Comic Fest celebration with costumes and fun and get your picture took it with me, won't that be fun, uh, will just be on Saturday. But the sale we are going to extend uh, one more week. So eight full days, all the way to the following Saturday, we will be letting you go back and peruse the comics or whatever else we have on sale, which there's always stuff, action figures, books, you name it. Uh, this year, there's going to be a whole bunch of die-cast cars. Uh, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Johnny Lightnings. Uh, we just acquired these, so you're going to get in on that. Uh, let's see, along with that, um, we're trying real hard to keep... We are going to be asking anybody who comes to that, to wear one of these, wear a mask. You can also wear a Halloween mask and a costume. We like that. But because we don't want somebody from a government agency coming in and saying we weren't following protocols and shutting us down, we're asking you, please, for that day, whether you do regularly or not, please follow the protocols wear a mask. We're going to try to keep things distant. We're going to do the best we can to keep everybody safe. So, uh, that's pretty much that. Um, we're still here. We're doing good. Um, we're having our event. We're extending it. I don't know what else I can tell you. I guess that... Oh, wait. It's story time. Why, we haven't had a story time in... Okay, a while. And since we're talking about, you know, the anniversary and the reunion, which we are considering our 30th or our 40th anniversary, gosh, where'd that go? Uh, as also kind of a reunion, and we're inviting anybody over the years who had shopped here at Comics, Cards, and Collectibles and has stopped coming in for whatever the reason, we hope you'll drop by and say hi. And as that relates to this story, it seems there was a parochial school, Catholic particularly, who was having a class reunion, and it was a a 10-year class reunion. And some of the nuns who taught 
that class were back visiting and a lot of the students and Sister Emancipata, who everybody loved, had a crowd of girls around her who were some of her favorites, and she's talking, and she said, uh, Margaret Ann, tell me what you've done with your life. She says, well, I, uh, I, I, I married my, my high school sweetheart, and um, we have six wonderful children. She says, oh, Margaret Ann, that is so wonderful. And Mary Margaret, what have you done? She says, well, I, I went to college and I got a degree in business and I have a, a, a wonderful uh, company, but I'm also married and I have two wonderful children. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. And she notices kind of on the fringe, Patricia Ann. She says, Patricia Ann, come here, talk to me. She says, oh, hello, sister. Well, tell me what you've done. She says, ah, I, I'm just nothing, nothing special. Now, now, Patricia Ann, we all think we've done nothing special. Tell me what you've done. I, I'd rather not. Patricia Ann, you tell me right now what you have done. All right, sister. My life didn't turn out that well. Things didn't go the way I hoped, and quite honestly, I've become a prostitute. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Patricia Ann. What did you say? Sister, I've become a prostitute. And, 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 and the sister keels over, faints away. So they run and they, they get some smelling salts. And she comes to, she says, oh, oh my, oh my, I, I, I. Patricia Ann, you come here right now. Now, what did you tell me you've done? Sister, I've become a prostitute. She says, oh, thank God. I thought you said Protestant. All us Catholic kids get that one. All right, everybody. We're going to let you go here. Have a great day. Stay safe. As I said before, mostly take care of each other. We're all we got. Make sure you take care of the people you care about because you don't know how long you're going to have them. Talk to you soon. Bye.